Officer Rogelio Santander, badge number 10934, passed away at 811 this morning from his injuries. End of watch. This is going to be a trying time for us. A Dallas police officer dies the day after a suspect opened fire at a Home Depot. Today, a request for the DFW community. And we just ask that you will continue to keep us lifted as we continue to do the work in this city. As another officer and a civilian are battling their injuries. But we are optimistic about what we're seeing with him right now. This while the man police say pull the trigger sits behind bars. Live from Dallas and Fort Worth, this is CBS 11 News at 4. The ones for Texas. Dallas police mourning the loss of Officer Rogelio Santander today, and we are learning more about the moments leading up to when a suspect shot him and two others. Hello, everyone. I'm Ken Molestina. And I'm Gilma Avalos. Santander, a three year veteran of the department, died just after eight this morning after police say he was shot in the head while responding to a call at a Dallas Home Depot. It was about this time yesterday when all of this started. Right now, Officer Crystal Almeida and Home Depot employee Scott Painter, they remain in critical condition. We have team coverage for you. This afternoon, and we start with our Robbie Owens, who was there when the chief announced Officer Santander's death today. She joins us from the Northeast substation where Officer Santander was based. Robbie. Well, Ken and Gilma, Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall today asked that those prayers continue for the officer's family, for the wounded, for her department, and also for this community as we are once again left mourning. Flags at Dallas Police Headquarters and around the city were lowered this morning in remembrance of that fallen officer. As soon as word spread that he didn't survive, people here in the community began dropping off bouquets to pay their respects. Santander was a two 2009 graduate of Dallas's Skyline High School. I'm told he is still remembered fondly there, but the 27 year old officer had also made an impression here at the Northeast substation where he worked. Rogelio was an amazing young man. He is what we want as a Dallas officer. He is what the citizens expect as a Dallas officer. His family um, obviously raised him right. They raised a good human being, not just a good officer, but an amazing human being. As you mentioned, the other officer, Crystal Almeida, and the loss prevention officer, Scott Painter, both remain hospitalized. But Chief Hall told us this morning that both are making, and I quote, remarkable progress. So, of course, our thoughts and prayers continue to be with them. Meanwhile, my colleague J.D. Miles has been digging up new information today on exactly how they were wounded. He joins us live now from North Dallas at that Home Depot. Jay? Robbie, we've learned from sources today that an off-duty Dallas police officer who was working security here at the Home Depot but not injured missed a handgun during a pat-down of Armando Juarez shortly before a store employee and two patrol officers who arrived here were gunned down. An arrest warrant reveals that Armando Juarez was in the Home Depot parking lot on Tuesday acting suspicious and looking into vehicles when he was confronted by Dallas police officer Chad Seward, who was working off-duty security at the store. Sources say Juarez was going to be issued a criminal trespass warning to stay off the premises. Officer Seward called on-duty officers Rogelio Santander and Crystal Almeida to the scene when he discovered Juarez had an outstanding felony warrant. Sources say security cameras captured Seward frisking the suspect, but he apparently failed to detect a handgun. Juarez was then led into a room without handcuffs to meet with the patrol officers and the store security officer. Sources say when Juarez learned he was going to jail, he pulled a gun and fired nine rounds, hitting both officers and the store employee in the face and torso. Sources say recordings of the shooting reveal it was over in only a second and that the officers did not have time to react. Officer Seward, whose sources say missed the gun during the pat-down, was outside conducting the background check and ran back inside when he heard shots fired on a police radio. He found the wounded victims on the floor after the suspect had fled out the back door. Coming up at 6, we'll have much more on this investigation. Plus, we'll hear from a retired Dallas police officer who actually used to work security here off-duty at this very Home Depot store. 
Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. Thank you, J.D. With the death of Officer Santander, 29-year-old Armando Juarez now faces a charge of capital murder. The I-team spent the day looking into his past. Investigative reporter Brian New is live now with the CBS Tower in Dallas. Brian, his background doesn't seem to have many red flags. Yeah, not at all, Gilma. This is video here of Armando Juarez being booked earlier today on what is now a capital murder charge. He has been in trouble with the law before, but nothing violent. His family members told us that they didn't even know, as far as they knew, that he owned a gun. Court records indicate he may have owned a BB gun at one time, but nothing about a real gun was noted in court records. Juarez does, however, have a record of stealing trucks. In fact, the white truck that he left the Home Depot in was stolen yesterday morning from a home in the Kessler Park neighborhood. And the white truck he used to lead police on a chase last night was a completely different truck and had a stolen license plate on it. He also had a warrant out for his arrest for failing to appear at a sentencing hearing after he pleaded guilty to stealing yet another truck back in December. But law enforcement experts tell us that nothing in his past would have indicated that he was a threat to officers. Brian, we did hear from some of his family members last night, including his grandmother, who simply couldn't believe he was responsible for this. What have you learned about his personal life? Yeah, so family members have told us that Juarez has two children. He had recently moved in with his girlfriend. At one time, he worked with his father as a bricklayer, but was currently unemployed. We also know he was close with his grandmother, and it appears he was headed to her house when he was caught by police last night. Now, coming up tonight at 5, we will kind of take you through some of the hours before the shooting and what Juarez may have been up to that morning. All right, we'll look forward to that, Brian. Thank you very much. A moment of silence at this morning's city council meeting. This after Mayor Mike Rawlings shared the news that Officer Santander had succumbed to his injuries. Well, you can see there, very somber moment there. The council members stood to pay their respects. At the start of the meeting, the mayor said the council had decided to work today, following the example of Dallas police officers who still had to work despite what happened to their colleagues. We're also learning new information today about the civilian who was shot. We're going to have more about loss prevention officer Scott Painter in our next half hour. And of course, for extended coverage on yesterday's shooting, you can check out our website and our social media pages.